Hello and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are going to download stocks data using Yahoo Finance and we will forecast its values. Before starting I want to tell something that this kind of forecasts are not reliable since there is a lot of outstanding factors which affects the prices of the stocks. We are just assuming that the price will move similar with its past values in time series models but for example, if there will be a financial problem in the company at future times, surely we can't predict that with our model and price will go down. Now we can start. Let's start by installing Yahoo Finance and stats models using pip. Since I'm using Python 3, I'm going to say pip3 install Yahoo Finance and stats models. And they are going to be installed in this way. Now let's import the libraries that we are going to use. If you don't have some of them in your environment, please install them using the pip command. We are going to import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import yahoo finance as yf from stats models time series analysis arima model import Arima and we are going to import mean squared error from sklearn.matrix we are going to say mean squared error this will be our metric on model performance and we are going to run the cell let's start by fetching historical stock data from yahoo finance you can specify the stock symbol start date and end date to get the desired data i'm going to define a function for this we are going to say define retrieve stock data. We are going to pass stock symbol and start date with end date. Then inside we are going to say data is going to be equal to the Yahoo Finance that download stock symbol. Start is going to be equal to the start date and end is going to be equal to the end date. And we are going to return data in this function. And now we are going to get our data by passing symbol and dates. I'm going to work with Apple's stock data. For doing this with our function, we are going to say stock data is going to be equal to the, we are going to call our function like this and we are going to pass the symbol of the Apple stock and we are going to say, let's take 2020, 01, 01 and let's say, 2023 01 and 01. We are going to work with the three years data. If we get an output like this, like one of one is completed, it means that we successfully retrieved our historical data. Let's take a look at our data to gain some insights into the underlying patterns. Let's say stock data had an, let's check our data. Seems great. We have columns like opening and closing price, daily low and volume. Let's plot this information. Let's say plt.figure. Let's firstly set the figure size here. Like let's say 12 to 6. And we are going to use plt.plot and stack data. We are going to plot the closing prices here. Let's give a title with closing prices over time and set x label as date and y label as closing price closing price and we are going to use plt.show for displaying it and here is our graph now we will train an arima model and fine tune its parameters for the forecasting section we are going to start by splitting our data as training and test sets. I'm going to use 80% in training set. For this, we are going to say train size is going to be equal to the integer length of stock data and multiply it by 0.8, which means 80%. And let's say train data and test data is going to be equal to the stock data we are going to open this and we are going to say train size and for the test data we are going to say stack data and we are going to say train size 
and we are going to add this. Let's check their lengths by length, train data, and we are going to say print len test data. Now we are going to convert the data to an univariate time series. For this, we are going to say train data is going to be equal to train data's close column after now. And we are going to do the same for the test data we have. We are going to take this column only, close one. And we are going to work with closing prices as I said. Now we are going to define a function to tune Arma model parameters. Let's define it with the name of find best arima order and we will pass data p values, we will pass p, d and q, d values and q values and we will say best score and fg float and we will say none here and now we are going to say for p in p values and another for loop here also we are going to do this for q d values for q in q values we will say try model is going to be equal to the arima and data we will say order p d and q and now we are going to say model dot fit model fit is going to be equal to the model dot fit i made a typo there let's just fix this quickly we will define mean squared error in squared error and it's going to be data and model fit dot fitted values and we will say if mean squared error is less than best score best score and best cfg is going to be equal to the p d and q and we will say accept we will just say continue here and what we are going to return with the function is return best configuration and this is our function for finding the best arima order and now we are going to define the range of values to tune for arima parameters i'm just going to take numbers to three but you can use more if you wish we are going to say p values is going to be equal to the range 0 to 3 and also the same for the d values and it's going to be same for the q values range 0 to 3 okay now let's find the best arima parameters using the training data for this we are going to say find best arima order we will say train ser train data p values d values and q values here and we will say print best arima parameters is going to be arima and we are going to use that format here format best configuration and we are going to run this it's returning this because I think there is a change in stats models, but it's not a problem. I think it's a depreciation. Yes, it is. We can see our best ARMA parameters here. Also, I made a typo there, but it's not a problem. Now, as the final step, we are going to fit the ARMA model, which has the parameters we found. We are going to say model is going to be equal to the ARMA train data and order is going to be equal to the you already know best configuration and we will say model fit is going to be equal to the model that fit great let's forecast the values in the test set and evaluate our model's performance for this we are going to say forecasted values is going to be equal to the model fit and forecast we will say steps is going to be equal to the length of the test data. Great, let's calculate the mean squared error on our model. 
for this we are going to say mean squared error is going to be equal to the test data and forecasted values here and we will say print mean squared error let's write mse is going to be we will say to floating dot format msc and run this and we have our mean squared error value now we are going to forecast the values of the stock for the next six months remember that there is so much outstanding factors that affects stock prices like inflation interest rates and much more so this forecast may not be accurate we are going to forecast the closing prices for the next six months so we are going to take 180 steps we are going to say forecasted values is going to be equal to the model fit dot forecast and we will say steps is going to be 180 for six months now let's create a date range for the forecasted period we are going to say forecast dates is going to be equal to the td dot date range start is going to be equal to the test data dot index minus one and we are going to say periods is going to be equal to the 180 and the frequency is going to be equal to the daily and we are going to run this now we are going to create a data frame to hold the forecasted values and dates for this we are going to say forecast data frame is going to be equal to the pd dot data frame and we will say date and forecast dates and forecasted we will say forecasted values here and it's our data frame i made a typo there and this is the correct one let's run this and use forecast forecast i mean forecast df.head or seeing it and now we can make our forecasts visual we are going to plot the forecasted closing prices for this we are going to say plt.figure figure size is going to be equal to the 12 to 6 again and we are going to use plt.plot test data dot index test data label is going to be equal to the actual and let's say color blue for this and we are going to create another plot here as forecast df we will take date and we are going to say forecast df forecasted label is going to be equal to the forecasted and color is going to be equal to the red and let's say plt.title forecasted closing prices for the next six months and we are going to add x label as date add y label as closing price also we will say legend here and we will display it with plt.show and that's it you can see the forecasted values we have and the actual values we successfully retrieved financial data from yahoo finance and used the arma model with parameter tuning to forecast closing prices by evaluating the model's performance with mean squared error we gained insights into how well it predicts future stock prices we made our forecast and visualized it thanks for watching this video i'm creating content on data science topic if you are interested in data science you can follow my channel for more videos like this have a great day